Hey everybody, in this video we're going to continue on troubleshooting Cisco, well actually Aruba, ClearPass, Wired.1x connectivity with EPTLS using a Cisco switch and a Windows 10 supplicant. So if you could do me a favor, if you could subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's, and the first thing I would like to do since we just created the service is probably reboot the server. So that's going to be our, let's, let's do that. Well, so this is just a windows 10 box. We're going to do, what we're going to do is we're just going to restart that. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's let that reboot and see if we can get this to work. So right now you're seeing, we're seeing some dot one X five fail messages on the switch. That's interesting. All right, so once this comes back up, we'll go back over here to clear pass and we'll see what's going on. We'll see if the, so we have this off. Let's turn on auto refresh. Okay. So here is, so it sent a Mab that got rejected. It sent, this is timing out, which is interesting. And it's just saying EEP. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Authorization source. But if you look here, accept EPTLS test Eve PC 004. So test Eve AD. So the machine is authenticated. You can see that, that right there, the TEP EL, T EAP TLS worked for this radius request for the, the machine. And you'll always see the machine as host and then the name of the machine. So let's see what it looks like here. Test Eve. Yep. Looks good. Test Eve. And the output here, the radius response is giving it VLAN 70. So you can see that it's now connected. And let's take a look at this VLAN 70 and you can see it's on the network or else that would have a, have an exclamation point on it. So let's, let's try to log in and see what happens. So we're logging in. Let's go back over here. Okay. I don't see anything yet. This is taking a bit of time here. Okay, so it's logged in. It looks like we're still authenticated. Let's just check. Let's check our IP. Okay, you can see we're on 80, so that's a good sign. That means it should have, when in the machine got authenticated, it should have been on 70. And this is still not updating. There it is. Okay. So that's all we needed to do is reboot the machine to see that this is working. So first, when it first reboots, it's going to be this line two. We get the host using EPTLS sends its uh, a machine name and it gets the output here of VLAN 70. Then when I log in, it's using EPTLS. It's machine authenticated already and user authenticated. So both have been done because it, it caches the machine authentication. 
and gets enforcement profile wired to. So here's the radius request. Here you can see it's using that service principal name and it's giving me, it's logging me in. And then the output here is VLAN 80, which we can see it is getting VLAN 80 because we saw that when we went here and looked here. 10.150.80.21 is the IP address. So that is working. So EPTLS is set up. So that's that's very very good. So let's see if we can see if that will work for our uh, Windows 11 box here. Um, let's just restart this. So right now this doesn't seem to have anything. Let's reboot it. See if that fixes that. So this is a Windows 11. Windows 11 box that I spun up just recently. And that's going to be for a uh, tunneled EEP TEEP test that I'm going to do with Aruba. And a actually Aruba 6.10, Aruba Clear Pass 6.10. Right now we're just running 6.8. It doesn't have TEEP. But that will be for a future video. All right, so this should have cert. This should have the cert. So we can see here Win 11 dash zero zero one. So it does have a cert. So when it comes back up, let's see if it actually does. Well, okay. So I don't know if it's actually configured for EEP. So we might have to get in here and configure it for EEP TLS. Yeah, it probably is not actually. And if that's the case, if it's trying to send peep, it's not going to work. Let's uh, refresh this. So it sent a MAB. You can see that's a different MAC address. And that's being rejected. And it's also getting rejected here because it's just trying EEP. It's not sending the, the certificate. So it's going to fail. So let's take a look at that. Let's fix this. So I'm going to log in here. So this is where if you had the GPO set, you wouldn't have to worry about going in and manually changing this, but you're we're getting failures. You can see ETH21, which is ETH21. That's where it's connected. All right. So let's go in there and see what we have set up. So it looks like we do have wired.1x enabled, right? Because we have the authentication. But yeah, there it is set to peep. Let's go to settings. Let's make sure that we are allowing testy root CA. Uh, anything else? That should be good. Cancel that. Say OK to that. Additional settings. User or computer. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, and now let's reboot this. I had a little trouble figuring out how to restart Windows 11, but okay, I got it. All right, so this now should restart and should send 
the certificates that it it has and it should have the same or it should have this certificate with win 11 which should authenticate it's taken a while to restart let's close that so there you can see right there windows 11 was able to connect and there it is using eptls so machine authenticated perfect so it tries to machine authenticate when you shut down and when you start up it does that let's take a look here so it's so once it comes back up we'll see it authenticate should work shouldn't have a problem all right so we should have there we are there we are there's its authentication output given vlan 70 just like we expect let's go back to the topology let's take a look at this you can see that we're connected you can see that down here it shows you we have internet um let's see let's log in make sure this works we're just going to wait for that to log in let's see if it's logged in yet it's taking some time to log in there we see it EPTLS, machine authenticated, user authenticated, perfect, looking good. So there we are from two different machines. We're able to authenticate and we're in. And there we have internet and we should be on the 80. Let's see what we got. Let's do a PowerShell. And there we go. Let's just do an IP config. And we are 10.150.80.20. So that's the IP we got. That's what we want. Ping 10 1 50.80.21, which is the other box. It's interesting. Can't ping it. Probably the Windows firewall is blocking that. I would I would guess. Let's see if the firewall's on. Firewall, Windows, firewall. Yeah, it's connected. Windows firewall is on, so that's why we can't ping. But EPTLS is working perfectly. So that is how you would set up EPTLS using certificates for your Aruba Clear Pass. And you can see right now we've got two different hosts able to connect. Test Eve PC4 and Win11-001. All right, so thank you for viewing. Please subscribe if you can, and I appreciate it. Thanks.